Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is going to be a quick look ahead to the Stanley Cup Finals. As you can see below from Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Stars vs. Lightning preview. This has been a hell of a series. You had an overtime 4-4 to tout that ended in a 5-4 to Lightning win uh, two games ago on a very, very key goal by, I believe, the final goal was by Shattenkirk. Yeah, Kevin Shattenkirk, who's been money for the Lightning after getting him for peanuts in the offseason. That's been a money pickup along with Barkley Goodrow, who's been money in the playoffs, along with um, Blake Coleman, who's been money in the playoffs. All of their pickups have just been money for them. And that's made a huge difference moving forward from last year to this year. That's made a, a very, very, very catastrophic difference. And the Stars, they just know how to fight and claw and scratch. And they showed that in a double overtime game, getting a 3-2 win uh, with Corey Perry stepping up yet again and Joe playoff Pavelski potting goals in that game. Perry with two of them. Uh, the dude just knows how to step up in big moments still, even while slowing down at the age 35 in his career. And Joe Playoff Pavelski just knows how to step up big time in the playoff. This is going to be a great battle today. Um, the Stars, in order for them, I think, to get over the hump uh, and come back, which in the NHL, by the way, is the league teams have come back the most from a 3-1 to one deficit. That's a fun uh, fact I found out a day or so ago. Um, but... In order for them to do that, they're going to need Sagan to step up more, and they're going to need Gorianov to play more like he played earlier in the postseason. I believe both of those players are capable of doing that, and I believe those are big reasons why, yes, I believe that's why I put the green background. The Stars are going to be able to go against my previous prediction that I made with Pirlo Wisdom and Steel Flyers on a previous video on, I believe we put it on Pirlo's channel, and then I shared it on mine, but... That was when I said that the Lightning would win in six. I'm also a sucker for Game 7, so I kind of hope it goes to Game 7. It'll be back-to-back -back years after the Cup not going to seven games for a while. So I hope that happens. But uh, I think it would just be huge. It would just be fun to see the series go seven games. Uh, sorry that the phone's ringing in the background. I know that's annoying, but can't control that. Uh, it would be fun for it to go seven games and I think this is just a hell of a series. You got the sleeper team of the NHL, the team that people didn't expect to make it to the Cup but did. They fought, they clawed, and they scratched and got there against the juggernaut, a great overall team in Tampa Bay. Um, it's just nice to see. Um, I believe that we're going to see a, a better play, overall play from Sagan, who did become one of the three stars of the game last game and had a good game getting a couple assists in that game. Um, but I think we're having more where you can see him like we have in the past in his career, dominant on offense. Um, get Not just get the chances where you notice him on the ice, but he actually then produces more rather than just in the assist total. But I believe the Stars are going to be able to figure this out. I think they pulled an inch of momentum because they won in the double OT fought scratch and claw game of last game now coming into game six. And I think that's going to give them a great chance to get to game seven, which is just a most adored game by fans um, of the game to have game seven, especially in the Stanley Cup Finals. Maybe not fans of the teams, especially not the Lightning, because that would definitely mean the Stars are grasping a lot of the momentum. But definitely fans of the overall game. Game 7s are remarkable. They're very fun to see and they're very fun to watch. Along with just the Stanley Cup as a whole. And people that were concerned about Dallas making it against Tampa. Well now, I mean, Dallas showed how good of a hell of a team they are. And just a battle, scratch, and claw. They have three good goalies in Bishop, who's unfortunately been unfit to play basically most of this postseason. Young goalie and Jake Adi Ottinger. And then they have obviously Anton Hudobin, who's played like an absolute tank. And then the Lightning have Vasilevsky on the other side, who's a Vezina caliber goalie. It's a battle of great goaltending and a battle of very good players in Ben, Sagan, Heiskanen, Klingberg, Hedman, McDonough. And then you got Kucherov, of course, and Point on Tampa. This has just been a hell of a series. It's going to continue to be a hell of a series. And I do believe now, personally, especially after what Dallas showed me to be able to continue to fight in double overtime and find a way to win there, that this will go seven games, and it's going to be very fun, and I hope it does go seven games, and I'll be doing another preview for you to a Stanley Cup Finals game, which will be on Wednesday if the Stars are able to pull this out tonight. But I do believe the Stars of tonight's game 
it, as the stars, no pun intended, will win, will be Joe Pavelski, Tyler Sagan, like I said, he would step up, and Miro Heiskanen will continue to play very well. I believe those would be your three stars. And in a loss for the Lightning, I believe Point will continue to show up and show out. Sergachev will continue to look good as well as Vasilevsky. So those would be my stars for each team. I believe the Dallas Stars are going to take the icing on the cake and win this game and force a Game 7. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Joe Bohr for Sports Fanatic News, giving you a Stars versus Lightning Stanley Cup Finals preview. Peace out, everyone.